This video is to show a pretty cool lab technique for measuring the size of cells. So you can see a one millimeter marker line placed by a Sharpie fine tip marker. And it's placed on a slide and then a, a single membrane of onion is placed on there, followed by a cheek rubbing of the simple squamous epithelial cells from the cheek, stained in iodine and cover slip. So this one millimeter mark can then be used to measure the length and width of an onion cell on average. Uh, and then from there also we can use it to measure the length and width of the cheek cells. And we can even then compare the nuclei of the onion cells to the nuclei of the cheek cells. So we have a lot of really cool measurement tools for eukaryotic cells. But we're also going to do another technique that will help us measure prokaryotic cells. And for that we're going to use yogurt with a smear of yogurt. Um, this is uh, basically a, a live culture yogurt and then cheek cells placed in the open spaces on the smear and also stained by iodine. We can compare prokaryotic cell size to eukaryotic cell size of animal and plant. So you're going to end up with a few measurements. You're going to end up with the measurement of onion cell length and width per millimeter. From there, you can either measure directly or derive by you know, looking at the cheek cells with the onion cells, the average width of animalian cheek cell. And then from there, you can also derive or measure directly the size of an onion nucleus. And from there, either measure or derive the size of uh, a cheek cell nucleus. And then from there, you can start to derive based on estimation of cheek cell nucleus to prokaryotic cell size, the length of a prokaryotic cell. And you can see these little uh, diplococcus bacteria. Uh, I imagine they might be Streptococcus thermophilus as they're sort of wiggling along. And you can, you can find those bacteria in sort of the open spaces on the yogurt and do some comparison measurements there. Pretty awesome all around.